Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video is a result of a problem I had to solve recently for a session that I photographed in a cave. Now, it was really fun, the session was super cool, but when I was prepping for it, I realized I don't have the right camera bag to do this job. So that sent me on a search. Now, if I'm sure you've bought camera bags or backpacks and realize, or I hope you realize, that there's no such thing as a perfect camera backpack for photography, not even Peter McKinnon's. But when I thought about it, I realized that there might be a perfect bag for a specific job. Why don't you grab a coffee and let me explain my thought process on how I solved this problem. So I had to figure out how I was gonna carry my camera gear down into this cave. The main requirement was that I make one trip because it was eight very wet stories down on some treacherous steps. And I wasn't about to make multiple trips carrying gear because it was a pretty steep climb and it, it was tough carrying everything on my back. So I had to think, well, what's the bag I need? And I quickly realized that there's no one perfect bag for every photographic job. I started to think differently. I started to think, Maybe I just need a system of carrying my gear that was job-based, where for this kind of job I use this, for that kind of job I use that. And so for this one, obviously I needed a backpack. Now I have a couple of bags I've been using for a number of years that have worked fine for me, especially since I very often have an assistant when I'm working. So having two bags wasn't bad. Well, obviously this job I had to change, so I started looking for a camera backpack. There's a lot of choices out there, as I'm sure you've seen, but as I said before, the pressure wasn't on me so heavily to find the perfect backpack. I just needed one that worked for this type of job, not one that works for every job I'll ever do. That takes the pressure off tremendously because finding something that's right for a certain job is much easier than finding something that's perfect for every job. So my search now are down to two bags. One Peter McKinnon's bag and the other the Think Tank bag here, which I eventually chose. Now, I'm gonna go through my reasons why I made this choice. The Peter McKinnon bag is really nice. And the other thing I wanna say is this video is not sponsored. This is completely my own purchase and my own reasons. So one of the big features of the Peter McKinnon bag is the modular system, which is great. If you have to reconfigure and use the bag for multiple different things, man, that's an awesome feature. But as I said a few minutes ago, I'm not doing that with this bag. This bag is going to be purpose use. So for the purpose, I wanted the modular system and the top access was irrelevant. What was not irrelevant, however, was the ability of the bag to stand up on its own in that muddy cave. I didn't want the bag to not be able to stand up. That made a difference. And you'd be surprised that's not a common feature. Needless to say, it had to be well constructed. And another thing I liked is that it had the chest and waist straps like a camping backpack because when I loaded this thing up, it had a fair amount of weight. So the stability of having those extra straps going down that stairway really helped a good bit. My gear requirements at minimum was two bodies, one speed light, one trigger, and three lenses and the various accessories you need to go with that. Being able to throw in a microphone and cables for it, big plus. I use a tripod almost all the time and this bag has external straps and a loop at the bottom to allow me to carry one. That's a huge win. I wouldn't have minded the bag to have more features. I wouldn't have minded the modular system of Peter McKinnon's, but for this job, I really didn't need it. And to be honest with you, carrying that much gear down all those steps, weight was an issue. And I didn't really want to carry one thing more than I absolutely had to. I hope this thought process has helped you. I, if you have to choose a new camera bag or a backpack, maybe you might have picked up a tip or two here. I'd love to hear about it in the comments and I'd answer any questions that you might have. Hey, thanks for watching so much. Until the next video, cheers.